The marginal rate of substitution can be defined as how many units of good x have to be given up in order to gain an extra unit of good y, while keeping the same level of utility. As you can see, the formula is the negative relation between the derivative of good y in terms of the derivative of good x. It is negative because the marginal rate of substitution corresponds to the slope of the indifference curve, which has a decreasing slope. It is worth mentioning that we can also obtain the marginal rate of substitution using partial differentiation and expressing it in terms of marginal utility of each good. Nevertheless, for simplicity's sake, it is common to note this formula in its absolute value form. We will use some utility function examples to better understand the marginal rate of substitution formula. The x-axis or horizontal axis shows the amount of good x consumed, while the y-axis or vertical axis shows the amount of y consumed. Our first example of utility function will be as follows. Utility equals x squared plus y squared. Before we graph this function, we will calculate the first derivative in order to verify that the monotonicity axiom is fulfilled. The derivative for x is equal to two x's and the derivative for y is equal to two y's. Since the axiom is met, we know the indifference curve is diminishing. Using the marginal rate of substitution formula, we get that the marginal rate of substitution for this utility function is equal to two x's divided by two y's, which simplified is the same as x divided by y. From this equation, we can learn that the marginal rate of substitution increases whenever x rises, as well as when y decreases. In its absolute value, the marginal rate of substitution is increasing, and hence its shape. We will now calculate the marginal rate of substitution for a different utility function. This time, the utility function will be equal to x multiplied by y. Following the same steps as before, we will first calculate the derivatives for x and y. The derivative for x is equal to y and the derivative for y is equal to x. Once again, the axiom is met, proving that the indifference curve will be decreasing. Again, using the marginal rate of substitution formula, we get that the marginal rate of substitution for this utility function is equal to y divided by x. As we can see, the equation has changed compared to the previous example. With this new equation, whenever x increases and y decreases, the absolute value for the marginal rate of substitution decreases, and hence its shape. From these examples, we have seen how marginal rate of substitution is linked with the indifference curves. Once again, for a better comprehension, we will use different examples of indifference curves. Each graph axis represents the amount of a given good. This first indifference curve is the classical example used for defining the utility of consumption for a given economic agent, and it is characterized by a convex diminishing curve. As we can see, it has a marginal rate of substitution that changes along the curve. In the second graph, however, the indifference curve is now a 45 degree negative slope, which implies that both goods are perfect substitutes. For perfect substitutes, the marginal rate of substitution will remain constant. It is worth mentioning that the marginal rate of substitution will be constant for all perfect substitutes, but it is only equal to 1 in a case such as the one shown, where the slope is of 45 degrees. This last indifference curve represents complementary goods. In this case, the vertical fragment of each indifference curve has an infinite marginal rate of substitution while the horizontal fraction has a marginal rate of substitution equal to zero. As a result, an increase in the consumer's utility will only come when the addition of one unit of one good comes along with the same increase of the other good. To sum up, the marginal rate of substitution measures the trade-offs between goods when analyzing utility. As a reminder, do not confuse marginal rate of substitution with the marginal rate of technical substitution or the marginal rate of transformation.